Hey, check it out. So this one's going to be about dating really quick. And I just got off of another client call. I've had seven today. So busy. But about dating. This will really help save your life. Go read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I'm going to give you three things you need to know if you're back on the dating scene or want to get back on the dating scene. And I just talked about these with my client. Who's crushing it? You know who you are. But number one is that the best word in any language, it's somebody's name. And if you use their name consistently, they have been trained and conditioned their entire life to perk up their ears and to pay attention whenever you say that, right? If someone's like, hey, Cam, hey, Cam, hey, Cam. I'm like, what, what, what? It's like the, the Pavlov's dog thing. But using someone's name is the best word in any language. So you use somebody's name all the time in business and in life. People love that. They really do. The second thing that I want you guys to know is that you just have to ask questions. Go and rewatch the 40-year-old virgin and go to the scene where he's talking to the chick at the cafe or the bookstore. And he simply just parrots questions of stuff that she's already said, right? When she says that she likes to, you know, read books by herself and he just goes, do you like to do it by yourself? And then she goes, yeah, it's, you know, talks about her hands. And he's, he's like, do you like to use your hands by yourself? He's such an idiot in that thing, but all you have to do is just continue to ask people questions on a date in the business world. And what this does is it gives people an invitation. People love to talk. And they love to talk about themselves. And so when someone is talking to you or even at you, it's still a form of investment. People are taking time and energy to use their vocal cords to connect with you and tell you something. And what that is, when someone's talking to you, that's an investment. If you don't realize that when someone's talking to you, that's an investment that that person is now putting in me. And what do we like to do with investments? We like to protect them, right? We like to make sure that they're being used adequately. Some people talk more than others, and hey, that's fine. But when someone is talking to you, especially in an intimate setting in the dating world, that is a form of investment. And the more that someone can invest in you, the more they're gonna to wanna to protect that asset or that investment, which is perhaps by setting up another date. Lastly, right, the person who talks the most always thinks the meeting went the best. I learned this from advertising. This is so applicable in dating. If you go on a date and you can get the other person talking and singing and laughing, right, they're going to think positively on you, about you. And again, in, a, in the business world, you go into a meeting, a CEO talks the entire time. I guarantee that he's going to be the one that thought that meeting went the best. So... Anytime you go into a meeting or a setting or a date, the person that talks the most usually thinks that that went the best, right? Regardless of, of how you feel or what you think. So don't talk too much. You want to talk just enough. I'll give you a fourth one. Fourth one of dating. And ladies, feel free to argue with me with this if you want. But people's attraction levels for you will always be reflected on your ability to make them feel an emotion. Okay. Men are kind of logic and reason based creatures. Women are more emotional than men typically are, which means they're more in tune with that sort of stuff, which means that they can process a little bit more and better and faster than men, whatever. But in terms of a male to female date, when you go on a date, this is just from my experience, but the better that I've been able to make someone feel a myriad of emotions, right? Maybe a little bit of love and warmth and security, but maybe also a little bit of like, poking at their ego, maybe instilling a little bit of jealousy, maybe a little bit of teasing and playing, but also being a gentleman while also being able to be six, five and protect and provide, right? Like giving someone that, that confidence, Hey, this guy probably takes care of himself. But if you can make someone feel a myriad of different emotions, that will always reflect their attraction back for you. That will increase their level levels of attraction. And ladies, I'm not one, so I can't speak for you guys, but my theory is, is that when a man is able to impact the different emotions of a woman consistently, right, all across the board, if he can make you feel, that increases your attraction. Let me know if that's wrong, but we'll discuss in another video. So those are just four things that I think can really impact you and help you out in the dating world. Feel free to save this for later. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.